Hi there, Libra, Libra, rising sun and moon. This is your February 2020 love monthly forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, without any further ado, let's dive deep into the reading. Just do note that this is still a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every Libras out there. So, um, yeah. Um, just so you guys know, whenever I do spreads like this, it, do, it does take me quite a bit of time. I try to get a lot of cards to lay them out like this so that I can get a specific energy. So it's not very, very general, but it can be something that can relate to someone out there. So, um, yeah. And whenever I get repeating energy like this, it gives me a tone that that energy can vibrate throughout the month, maybe. Of course, it's not something that each and every Libra is going to feel, but this tone and this energy has some form of power, some form of significance throughout the month and from what I'm getting over here we do have a lot of emotional energy so I'm not going to be surprised if February becomes highly emotional for you and highly intuitive all at the same time I kind of feel that you know you yes you are sensitive you are emotional and you can be unstable even though you are libra i just kind of feel that you know it also means that your intuition is in top condition of course there is going to be a difference between um paranoia and intuition but once you are able to center yourself and ground yourself, your intuition is going to be really, really strong within the month of February. And I would advise you guys to use that as your advantage, not to turn that energy um, to do something that can self-destruct you, because that is also possible. It is showing us here that relationships and partnerships is definitely in your mind at this time. It's just that a lot of you guys are more into the doubts. It's like there is this energy of, I want to be happy. It's like a repeating words that is that always comes into my mind when I was tuning in with Libra February 2020. I want to be happy, I want to be happy, I want to be happy. So there is a need for you to achieve something that can give you emotional satisfaction in life. It's like you want for things to move forward. You do want to. It's just that it makes me feel that there is something that is holding this back. Like, things are not exactly within your control. It's not as if you doing anything can make a change. I kind of feel that there is a big part here wherein the other person, whether you're single, in a relationship, complicated relationship or marriage, the other person's action and initiation comes of importance as well. So it's not as if thinking positively or engaging to something, initiating something is going to make you feel better alone. Because I kind of feel that what makes you happy right now is your connection with someone, a relationship with someone, um, Maybe if you are in a single, if you are single right now, this could be a point wherein there is something that you want, you know, 
um, maybe you want to have a partner, you want to have a soulmate connection because I'm not getting here just a normal relationship. I'm getting here that you want to achieve the highest vibration. You want to achieve that satisfaction, utmost satisfaction. You know, it's not just about I want to have a simple life. I just want to be happy. I kind of feel that there is something more than that. You are desiring a lot of things more than you think. You might tell yourself that you just want to have a simple life, but what you crave for, the intimacy that you crave for, the partner that you crave for, is maybe something that is hard to achieve, you know, or maybe there is just something that is not within your control at this time. It is showing me here that in the past, let's put this over here, we have this Wheel of Fortune and the Lover's Card. So some of you might have met someone or some of you are waiting to have a connection or to have a love encounter. I just kind of feel that there is a suck energy here like you you are wanting a lot of things you are wanting to manifest something you know you're thinking positively you're trying to think positively but I also don't see you taking any concrete action it's like I want this I want that I want to feel this this is something that I want to have but it's as if you're just waiting for things to happen as well. You're waiting for faith basically to move and do its magic and work for you. When will I be happy? When will this person reach out and contact me, for example? When will things get fixed in this relationship? And maybe you were okay before maybe you know you were okay because you guys are very patient patient people of course it depends on your uh, um your own chart basically but generally uh, libra people are very patient so it was okay for you to wait you do love unconditionally so it's not as if you can switch from one man or woman to another in a blink of an eye i really don't see it like that especially with this reading because i kind of feel that you know emotional some form of emotional connection is quite strong here and for many of you you might be still thinking of someone whom is not in your life right now or maybe you are you are just doubting that partner whatever the case it could be I just kind of feel that you know right now even though you're not taking action your soul is crying and you know there's just some form of energy right there that is craving for for something to happen and whenever that is the case based upon my experiences and based upon you know my usual readings like this whenever such things happen you know something is really about to occur and it might feel as if, as if it's faded as well but before that even happens you know you might find yourself feeling overwhelmed by this energy of course i will have no idea of what this is truly all about because this can this can manifest in in a lot of ways you know you could be single and desiring someone thinking about someone despite the fact that you are not even trying to meet anyone you know it's like contradictory we're in I want to be in a relationship with someone but I want Prince Charming to knock on my door despite the fact that I am a hermit so 
it's quite difficult, you know. There is that form of energy that I'm picking up. Of course, not all Libras are like that. It's just an example. It can also manifest where in you are having difficulty in moving on and you're still thinking about someone in the past. That is also possible. And another possibility is that it may be your idealis your idealization with someone is coming in strong, you know. Fantasy idealizing things in a relationship is coming up over here as well. There is a possibility that your emotions become so strong that it can really trigger for someone to contact you. It's like, you know, that psychic telepathy that can sometimes happen when it comes to, you know, twin flame relationships or soulmates. It can, it is possible, but, you know, it's not something I'm going to promise you guys. But you are thinking of someone whom you cannot touch, whom you cannot really grasp at this time. And maybe there is something that is confusing you. For a lot of you guys, maybe you are just sensitive and emotional at this time. Especially we have here Neptune, Libra in the fourth house. The fourth house is home, yes. And at the same time, it fourth house also talks about your emotions. The things that is happening to you privately within yourself. So your own emotions can be overwhelming you. So, um, yeah. Okay, what else do we see over here? So there is a sense of feeling trapped that you might be experiencing here. I kind of feel though that you are, you are going to think a whole lot about your love life you know whether you're saying whatever your status is basically you are going to th be thinking about love as a whole what this really means for you and what do you really want who do you really want and what really makes you happy for the most part though i do see a lot of waiting over here so you have been waiting in the past and i kind of feel you're still waiting and it's not the best thing to hear in a reading i have to say because it basically you know it basically is like saying that you're spending your time imagining wishing and thinking about someone but it does not really tell us if something is going to come about with that relationship, with that situation. However, we are being shown here that we do have the devil card here and the ace of wands together. There's going to be some form of new energy going to come. It can also be an old energy, but it's going to come in very strongly. Something is about to begin. So yes, you are feeling overwhelmed with your emotions but i kind of feel that your emotions right now are a lot more sensitive than the usual because subconsciously you know that there is going to be a turning point that is going to be occurring for you in terms of your love life regardless of what is your current situation at this time you could be single and wanting to to meet Mr. Right or something or you could be in a complicated relationship still thinking about your ex or with someone that you're still not in a relationship with or you could be thinking about your complicated relationship or your happy relationship with your partner you know I kind of feel that there is something that is about to begin in your relationship regardless of what it is that you're going through at this time so and this whatever that it is that's going to happen i kind of feel that it's inevitable so 
regardless of what you do, whether you take action or not, something is about, is about to stir up. Something is meant to happen. Is basically what's being shown here. It is highly possible that you know your waiting time is over, and you are about to um, reap the the benefits, or you know, you reap what you sow, kind of energy. So maybe you are about to see where your patience has led you, or is going to lead you. It could be something good or bad or difficult but you are going to be reaping the rewards of your own hard work of the things that you have put in this relationship whether you have put action in that or not you are just going to get what you deserve this is going to you create a new change for you there is a possible that you know um if this is a communication it could be a, a good communication can come about on that because we do see that there is a possibility to communicate we do have a lot of birds card over here and also here so and a man over here not really being shown at the camera so communicating with someone talking with someone is possible and that communication can change things in the relationship but like i said there is heightened emotions over here so be mindful of overreaction be mindful or of, of emotionally reacting into things and what else be mindful of being overwhelmed with emotions sometimes when we are emotionally you know talking with someone we end up telling people telling the person things we don't really mean to say but sometimes it hurts so those kinds of things needs to be taken into consideration. So I know it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard because I, I tend to say this, but I do have a tendency to emotionally react to people as well. And if you have a sharp tongue, then that's going to be very difficult for the other person as well. So um, yeah. I do see here that, you know, there is a possibility that someone from afar can is thinking of you. Maybe they want to resolve a misunderstanding, they want to talk again, and not really seeing where that communication is leading this, but you are thinking about something that there is something here that does not satisfy you or you have some form of regrets maybe about someone or about a relationship that maybe you want to fix that maybe you want to mend and that is really going to be the focus over here so feeling that that connection with someone and having a lot of realization there is going to be some form of insight that you can expect to occur for you and it's very funny because i did use three decks with this reading and we do have one lover's card over here another lover's card here and here with my steampunk tarot we also have another lover's card so that's like three lover's card all in one reading and <clears throat> that clearly tells me that you know something is going on here in terms of love and relationships for you and again you most of the time this is going to be 
about decision making, possibly reconciling, talking with someone, a twist of faith can occur. And also we have the moon card over here as well. So yeah, emotional connection with someone that you are thinking about deeply is really coming into this reading. So where that leads you guys is a different story. But right now all I can pick up with this reading is that you are reaching for someone. Also, please do know that there is also a possibility that this is something that, you know, the other person is doing as well. Maybe they are wishing for you too. With the devil card over here though, with the um this is the position of the other people, other person. It could be that what you are feeling, they are feeling at the same time. And it can trigger different reactions. It can trigger different events that is about to unfold for you. I don't know if it's going to be happening within the month of February though, or, or on another time, but this month is becoming powerful for you because I kind of feel that, you know, a lot of behind the scenes energy is taking place working around to fix your love issues and relationship issues. Right now though, I kind of feel that being overwhelmed and getting clarity, emotional clarity to what you really want out of life and out of love and relationship is, is really the focus and coming in very, very strong for you guys, for Libras out there. So, um, let me get you guys a few advice cards before I end this reading for Libra. Libra, February 20. What do I have to know for Libra 2020, February? Okay. I am going to get at least three cards for you guys. Oh my god. The first card I have over here is Daniel, the angel of marriage. And it's saying here, I am assisting you right now. It's very funny because I do, I got like three cards about partnership and miracles. So we have the marriage card here, we have friendship, and we have miracles. This could be like a situation of, you know, um, someone getting married or offering marriage in mind. Even though you're not expecting it, you know, it, it comes as if there is a miracle that comes with it. Or this could be a situation that, you know, someone is helping or, you know, a situation that is being helped from up above maybe a miracle can happen in a certain relationship you know it doesn't have to be love itself it can be friendship but <laughs> with the cards that i have right here um i would say that this is love but it's not just, you know, any love. It's someone that you love and you can treat as a friend as well. Someone that you really have a certain bond with that you thought things are never going to be fixed anymore. But for some reason, some form of miraculous event can turn about, turn things around for you. So... It is like also telling that if you are in a situation wherein your marriage is falling apart, this is also a situation wherein it's telling you that believe in miracles, believe that things can still be fixed, believe that it can still happen, believe 
believe in angels, believe in God, believe in divine timing is what I would say. Believe in divine timing. And know that what is meant for you will never pass you by. That is like what I have, I tend to say in a lot of my readings since 2015. Believe that what is for you will never pass you by. And what is for you will always show itself up in front of your face. So um, yeah, this is really a really good advice card because it leaves us a very positive tone of relationships and harmony. Or you can also meet someone like a, a marriage potential, you know, or a perfect partner, you know, you find something perfect about them, even though that they are imperfect. So some miraculous event can can turn about in terms of your love life and relationship then that is always something to celebrate upon so um yeah libra don't give up and i know that things are definitely going to turn around for you for the better and it starts this month thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me of course and if you'd like more personal reading you can do that by booking a session with me on my website in the stars by chrissy.com and um yeah thank you guys and i'll see you next month